curse of comparison. Guys, Kim Barrett here today from Your Social Voice. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about what I call the curse of comparison. Now, this is something that I think affects us all as business people, as marketers, anything where you can really compare yourself to someone else, this I think is a problem for a lot of us. And why is it a problem? Well, what happens is we see people out there being successful. And what happens is automatically, being human beings as we all are, we start to compare ourselves to them. Maybe it's the person that's got the right girlfriend and boyfriend. Maybe it's the person that drives the nice car. Maybe it's the person who seems to have the nice house, the nice relationship, the nice family, whatever it is, we all start to compare ourselves, which is a curse upon us, right? Uh, we compare ourselves to them, right? We start to compare how what we have to what they have, which I always think is such a bad way for us to operate because yes, I think it's good to take that for inspiration, for motivation, whatever you need, but I don't think it's necessarily good to compare ourselves to other people because we don't know what they've gone through, what their real life circumstances are, because most of the time this happens on, shock horror, social media, right? It happens on Facebook, it happens on Instagram, it happens on uh, YouTube, where we watch and we see things and we're like, oh wow, this person's got all that stuff figured out. Oh wow, this person's got everything 100% certain, 100% sorted, and I wanna be like them. And once, as soon as you start to compare yourself to them, as soon as you start to go, oh, well, I don't have this, I don't have that, what happens? You start to get deflated. It starts to be really hard to get that motivation back because you're like, I'm so far away from what they have. Although you're comparing probably your worst day to their best day, their most ideal day, their social media photos, what's happening for them and working for them right now, you're comparing that to them. And I always think that's a terrible way for us to go about uh, not only business, but life in general, because we all start to compare what's happening, what's working, what's not working. And I don't think that's fair on you. I don't think that's fair on me to do anything like that. So the only thing that you should compare yourself to is what you are doing and who you were six months ago, 12 months ago. That's the only comparison I think that we should be making and seeing how we can use that to drive ourselves forward. Yes, it's always good for inspiration and motivation, but you can't get stuck comparing yourself to someone else because otherwise what happens automatically, if you're not achieving the same level of success, you start to beat yourself up. You start to put yourself down. You start to really not appreciate what you've already done and gone through. So that is something that I think really needs to be focused on and really needs to be thought about for everyone. Like I'm not just talking, you know, I'm talking about myself even as well. We need to think about that and go, hmm, okay, cool. If that's where they're at, that's great. Use that as maybe something aspirational, inspirational, but that's not what I, like that's, I'm not comparing myself to that. I'm comparing who I was yesterday to that. I think if you can start to think like that, then it will make a really big shift in our thinking. Now let's now take that into the world of marketing. Everyone starts to compare what other people are doing, funnel hacking them. Oh, they're getting X per registration. They're achieving Y per registration. And like I get all the time, I had a client message me before being like, oh, these guys have a really cool uh, messenger bot. I wanna, I wanna copy that, I wanna utilize that. And it's like, well, don't compare what they're doing to what you're doing. You need to have a succinct focus for what you wanna achieve so that they can get the best outcome possible. So if someone's getting $5 leads, and you're paying $50, Yes, cool, know that there's room to grow. However, is that $50 suitable for your business? Is that $50 achievable to reach your targets? That's what you need to start thinking of. That's what you need to analyze and go, well, hmm, is this acceptable for me? Yes or no? If no, yes, improve upon it. But if it is, then it shouldn't really be the main focus. It should be that incremental improvement over time. You shouldn't then be spending all your time going, well, how do I get someone posting up an image of $1 Facebook leads? That again is not your target, right? That is not what you need to be focused on. What you then need to be focused on is how do you optimize and improve the other areas within your business? How do you use the theory of constraints, right? That I've talked about on here before. How do you best utilize that to then drive the improvement of your performance? Because if you know your numbers and know what you can achieve and know what's possible for your business, then that's what you can compare it to. Don't compare it to someone else's numbers, compare it to what you need to spend. What's the maximum you can spend to acquire a lead? What's the maximum you can spend to acquire a customer? Use that as your measuring stick rather than anything else. So if you can use that to compare, I believe that is one of the key factors on how 
you can overcome the curse of comparison. Because then you're not comparing to anyone else, you're comparing to hard data. You're comparing to hard information that you can best utilize to drive and improve what you're doing, to drive and improve your traffic, to drive and, drive and improve your conversions, rather than going, oh, such and such said they can get leads for a dollar. Such and such is getting leads for $5. Such and such made a sale for $10. Such and such got a two comma club award or, or an eight figure award or, um, you know, or a VIP advertiser at Facebook. That doesn't matter. Like, yes, they're all cool accolades. Yes, they're all cool things to have and achieve. However, right, we are not basing our decisions in our business off someone else. It needs to be based off of what we see, what happens, and then how exactly we can go about that. So the overall outcome I want you guys to take away from this is looking on the, if you imagine you've got two sides, two columns there, number one is figure out what your numbers are, and that's what you need to compare to, right, for marketing. What is your, number one, cost per lead currently, and what is the acceptable cost per lead for you to get an outcome in your business? If you don't know, it's probably a little bit more work you need to do, but you need to go, cool, what is your current cost per lead? What is your acceptable cost per lead? What is your current cost per sale? What is your acceptable cost per sale? Right, and then you can figure out from there what your marketing budget should be, rather than going someone else is getting leads for a dollar, they're using Messenger and getting thousands of registrations. Like it's hard for some of our clients, they see some clients getting thousands of leads in a bot competition and others getting tens, fifties, hundreds registered for their, uh, for a live event series maybe. The difference is, it's a different product. It's a different audience, it's a different niche. They're selling something for $60, you might be selling something for 6,000 or 60,000. Maybe you're selling a house for 600,000. There's a very big different and disparity between those two things. So that's why you need to understand what they are and how you can best isolate that and how you can then best achieve that for your business. Then on the business side of things and the personal side of things, I think it's always good to identify your goals, where you want to get to. However, I wouldn't be then comparing to other people that are, you know, like look at people like Grant Cardone who has a private jet and all that sort of stuff. I would love to have a private jet one day, but I'm not going right now. I'm not going to get upset that I don't have that because I know that currently I need to compare myself to who I was last year, last six months, last month, yesterday, and how can I improve that? that incremental improvement over time, right? Which is, you know, uh, Kaizen, Kanai, whatever you want to call it, constant never ending improvement is I think what drives through those big successes over time, right? And if you stop comparing yourself to other people and compare to, how, to myself yesterday, how can I get 1% better? How can I make 1% more calls, 1% more sales? How can I inspire and lead my team 1% better every single day? Over time, they all add up over time they all snowball and they'll catapult you forward rather than going oh this person's doing that that person's doing this this person has this car this person has this partner this person's going on this holiday that doesn't matter what matters is your constant never-ending improvement those little tweaks every single day from the beginning is what will allow you to have great success over time right and everyone says oh every overnight success took about 20 years so if you do want to have that big growth, that big impact, that big um, stratospherical growth and impact, the only way to do that is by constantly improving over time and not focusing on other people because that is the curse of comparison. That is where you'll get stuck. That is where pain comes from. And that is something you don't want to play with, right? So uh, I will uh, remove that curse, bang, right? No curses for you guys anymore. No comparing yourself to other people, just constant never ending improvement for yourself over time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's cool. Give me a thumbs down. Let me know, drop a comment below. Let me know what I could have improved or what you guys want to see more of for next time. And as always, make sure that you subscribe so that you see this content first before anyone else. All right, guys, until next time, you have all been awesome. I'm Kim Barrett. Adios.